The Uganda State of Oil and Gas Sector feature is brought to you by Accord in partnership with Cisco, NTV with support from DGF. Large swaths of the Albertine region remain extremely vulnerable to the perils of environmental pollution. At risk are the local communities, wildlife and aquatic life. Uganda's Albertine Graben enjoys land covered with forests, wild reserves, and other ecological resources of economic, social, and cultural heritage. In April, a geothermal exploration hole exploded in Kibiro village, Hoima district, letting off spillage in the area and towards Lake Albert. There are fears that crops, livestock, and aquatic life were placed at risk. Barely after the incident, the Civil Society Coalition on Oil and Gas claimed the spill contained gas, water, clayish material, drilling mud and crude oil-like material. In a letter dated 6th April 2020, the coalition asked that NEMA expeditiously makes an assessment of the spill so that appropriate remedial action is taken. It also demanded NEMA works with a responsible entity to compensate directly affected community members for the loss of property and other damages. But the Energy Ministry Permanent Secretary Robert Kasande revealed that the ministry follows NEMA laws and regulations when undertaking such projects. If a project that we are going to undertake or an activity that we are going to undertake falls in a category where you need to do an environmental impact assessment, we have done it. Restoration has been done to the extent that people come and say, really, did you, did you do a seismic survey here? because there is no footprint at all left that that activity took place. Areas that were of high sensitivity, we have brought in new technologies. Like we normally use cables to undertake a seismic survey. Those areas in uh, much zone where we couldn't do that, we had cableless seismic acquired. We've done sensitivity mapping of these areas so that we know that the, here the, hate, the sensitivity is heightened and therefore the mitigations also must be equally heightened. He revealed that the incident at Kibiro was an accident as seven wells had previously been drilled without any incident. Drilling rig to kind of, you know, spill the drilling fluid because when you are drilling you have to put fluids to make sure that the, there is no friction and the heat is reduced as you drill. It had spilled out sand but also because it was a gas pocket, that gas had some hydrocarbons in it. So the spill, the water, the sand had some hydrocarbons coming in. But it's not true that they reached the lake. Yes, there was a trail because we were about 200 meters away from the lake shore where we were drilling. There was a trail that was coming close to the lake. Why we think it did not pollute? Because NEMA went there post the incident. Uh, the ministries, institutions of Petroleum Authority, and geological survey and mines went there together with NEMA and the local population. And the technical people who were there, the, 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 the conservationists, actually saw biodiversity, like in terms of fish, in terms of uh, frogs within the ponds that were close to the lake that were still swimming. However, Bunyoro Kingdom has its own concern as one of the areas was earmarked to become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As a minister who is uh, responsible for uh, tourism development, I came across it in the papers and I also responded that one, it is not proper to start an exploration in Ichibiro without our knowledge. And secondly, as a kingdom, we have also been working on a different project, which is a big project and which we feel is bigger than the geothermal. That is the project of UNESCO listing, I mean listing of the area on the UNESCO uh, World, 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 World Heritage Sites. So they came and approached us, uh, that was uh, in January this year, and they tried to explain to us what they can do. But of course, as a docket holder, my question was, can the two exist? 
some of the civic leaders in the region expressed concern about such spillages. A case in point, the Minister of, uh, Minister of Energy was telling us there was no all that effect, much effect, but we know that effect <clears throat> might be measured in terms of inhalation. When you look at the Albertine Graben, the entire Graben, it has uh, a minimum of 52% of African bird species. It has 39% of African mammals. So in the event, can we calculate how many could have died? Or how many uh, species are coming to extinction? Last year, government awarded a 2.3 billion shillings contract to Royal Techno Industries Limited to drill eight temperature gradient holes to exploit geothermal energy at the Fort Springs. This, however, elicited flack from Bunyoro Kingdom officials and locals fearing the activities would destroy the ecosystem, append tourism, as well as salt production, the primary source of livelihood. The Uganda State of Oil and Gas Sector feature was brought to you by Accord in partnership with Cisco and TV with support from D.